Okay, well, let's just start back up with E double prime. And we're almost done. This is our last one. Again, it's 2 times 18. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. So we have 36 here. That zero is out, of course. The next one, get a zero out. And the next one was times a negative 2. So it's going to be minus 8. and times a positive one and a zero. So we're gonna get plus a negative four and a zero. And that equals 24 over 12 and we're gonna get a two. So I'm gonna clear this out and we are going to rewrite this on another page. So, let's see, finally we ended up with 2a1 prime plus 2a2, or um, never mind, we only had one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Plus 4e prime. plus 3 a2 double prime and finally the last term we had was 2e double prime remember there were six irreducible representations but a1 double prime zeroed out okay so at this point we can do something um, using the degeneracy of this molecule, we can check to make sure we're on the right track. So remember, if it's a nonlinear molecule, the formula for the degeneracy is 3 times n, where n is the number of atoms. And this basically just gives you like the amount of stretching you can have in space in the three dimensions, because you know, you've got th one dimension for each atom. But we had six atoms in here, so 3 times 6 is 18. Total degeneracy for this atom is 18. And the trick about this is you'd be like, well, wait, that doesn't add up to 18. But you count E twice. So each of these E's counts as 2. So we do, in fact, end up having this equal 18 total if each E is counted twice. So we have 3 plus 8 plus 6 plus 4. Okay, I just paused a second and made some little annotations in there. Um, now let's subtract out the rotational planes. Um, we have to subtract out 1 e prime because we've got x and y in there and they transform together. Or, I'm sorry, that's the, um, that's the translational. So we're just subtracting out these translationals. Um, so for E prime, we've got X and Y, they transform together, so we tr subtract out E prime once. And then we have Z down by itself and A2 double prime, so we subtract that out once. And then the rotationals, this time, we'll actually do them. We are going to subtract out A2 prime. There's our RZ. A2 prime. OK. And then we're just going to subtract out the other ones, again, E double prime, and these will transform together like those do, so you only subtract that once. E double prime.
And after all that, this leaves us with 2a1 prime plus 3e prime plus 2a2 double prime plus e double prime. And actually in the video, I'll just write this in the comment. So if you wanna come back and use this as an answer for something, no problem. You'll just, you won't even have to watch the video. I'll just write it in the comment down there. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the IR active bands. That is why we did this whole thing after all. The IR active. Now what you want to do is you want to look and see what is left over that has a translational coordinate over here. So we've got E prime, you've got an X and Y, that's still left over. And then A2 double prime, that has a translational quarter coordinate, that is still left over as well. So 3E prime is going to contribute and so is 2a what was that again 2a2 or um yeah 2a2 double prime so we got five bands overall and ramen Okay, and the ramen, I know last time I said if there's anything over here, but actually in this one there's more than <laughs> just anything, so you only want to look at the ones with the quadratic terms in here. So it looks like A1 prime has some, if you want to check it out, A, that's for A1 prime, and E prime has some over here, so you can see that. Okay, and then the last one, E double prime, that is not a quadratic term. It's not going to work for us. So let's put it on our 2A1 prime. And just like the IR, we're going to get five bands. With the 3E prime. So there we are. We're all finished. That was a D3H point group example, especially with a, or uh, specifically with a trigonal bipyramidal molecule. So um, next time, maybe we'll even do something harder. All right, see you guys.